What's up guys? Welcome to another local band smokeout. I am your host is higher than most BG and I'm hanging out. I've been trying to set up this interview for a while. I'm excited. I'm hanging out with my man Mary Kirk Holmes. How are you? And how was your day? Good. Excellent. Excellent. He's a vocalist for 2 Octavia. You can find them at facebook.com slash 2 Octavia band and they got a brand new EP dropping in just a couple of days, July 16th. This is a, you guys have put a lot of work into this. I've only heard three tracks from it, but I love all three. Uh, I've got a lot of questions for you, man. Uh, let's, okay. di let's dive right in. I guess the first to start, what was it like when you lost Matt from the group? Um, um, Matt was has been one of my um, closest friends for like four years. Oh, uh, yeah, four years. Um, so it was pretty, it was pretty hard to to let him go, but yeah, I guess. Um, just different, different like musical direction and all of that. You can't really help it, but yeah, it was definitely <laughs> super sad to see him go. In the post that you guys made, it it seemed like it kind of might have been like a mental health thing at one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that going on as well. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, we hope he's doing well. And you guys still communicate, or is he in another project now? Yeah, yeah, he's got a, um, another project that should be starting up pretty soon. They're super good as well. <laughs> cool. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I'm yeah at... doing that as well. Cool. I asked you this before when we were uh, when you jumped in for the stream, but it's different for the actual interview. But what was it like? You told me that you had to kind of like learn how to scream to do this album. What what was yeah. that process like? Um, because a lot of the time, um, when I used to help out Matt or I had like a little screaming bit in the old stuff, um, I would just like yell as loud as I could to try and distort my voice. And I just couldn't do that and sing as well for like live shows and stuff. So I had to, um, I had to do a lot of research on, on how to scream and it took me a long time to get it to a point that I was happy with. So I was going in and out of the studio, like re-recording a lot of <laughs> a lot of my my screams over and over again until I was happy with them, which is painful. But so, so I imagine you like you you constantly like throw out your voice and then learn tricks on how not to throw out your voice and tighten it and be stronger and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For sure. Uh, random, random question. But uh, I have a fan question for you. Someone asked, if you could be any Mortal Kombat character, which would you pick? Um, oh, Raiden, for sure. Raiden, why Raiden? The god of the god of lightning. Yeah, god of lightning. I just froth the lightning. Um, I don't know, like, I just love that sort of superpower. Lightning is the best. Like, I, like, love... <laughs> like Norse mythology as well as like Greek mythology. So like Jupiter and Roman, Jupiter, Zeus, Thor, all of those guys. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know who my favorite character would be. Probably, I used to like Kano, the guy, or not Kano, the Cabal, the one that would dash real fast. Oh, uh, okay, and yeah. spin yeah. you. I used to like him, but uh, what do you, what music do you jam on the side when you're not doing the band stuff? Hmm. That's a good question. I have so like I have a playlist that I have um, that I put on shuffle. That's that's like forty eight hours long. <laughs> it's like seven hundred. Yeah. So you just, you, just, so you just hit random on it and just let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. It's like every song that comes on, I'm like, man, this is a banger. But it's like <laughs> it goes from yeah, like everything from like EDM house to like <laughs> old school like Velvet Underground and. Yeah, I guess everything in between. I'm I'm actually a big fan of of everything, but I guess in the in the heavy scene, I've been jamming Landmarks' new album a lot. Okay, hell yeah, yeah, very cool. And Matt, actually, our old vocalist, he's the one that showed me them recently. What? Was, what? Who'd you just say? Uh, Landmarks. Oh, Matt, our old vocalist, he showed me them. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. 
landmarks. I feel like I've jammed them before, possibly on the stream, but I don't I don't recall like a song right away, like a song title or anything, but yeah, like, like yeah, it's French post hardcore band. Oh, okay. Super cool. Hell yeah. What about what about like movies? What what kind of movies do you do you get into? Um the last movie I watched actually was um Cloud Atlas by the Wachowski siblings that did like the matrix mm -hmm. um it's a, i really like like sci-fi and um yeah fantasy and thrillers and stuff like that okay i've been on this tangent of telling people that they have to see this movie called the tomorrow war it's oh a, that chris pratt one that movie is awesome if you haven't got a chance to watch that it's like it's like stargate world war z and interstellar <laughs> like all combined that's mad yeah i'll definitely check that out yeah. i got a prime video account you'll you'll like that one uh, let's yeah. see. What's a typical day in the life of Mary like from when you wake up to when you go to sleep? Um, so generally, I'll wake up, um, have a cigarette, <laughs> um, and then it's just catching up with, especially during the, the AP campaign, catching up with our managers and the PR people, um, and then I'll try and get outside if it's not raining. But in Melbourne, it's it's raining a lot. <laughs> <laughs> For and sure, get out. We get like, no rain over here, like ever. Damn, we're in complete drought fire mode at all times over here in California. Like it, it rains yeah. like five times a year. That sucks. Yeah. What? But um, yeah. I guess, and then, I don't know, it depends <laughs> on the day, because, yeah, like, I, I don't know, hanging out with friends, skateboarding. Cool. You kind of, you kind of, like, alluded to my next question, which is, uh, how did you meet, and what, what was it like working with Backbone Music Group? Oh, super good. Like, um... Um, our manager Gabriel and a thief they're both like so amazing like so lovely and just they really um, go like above and beyond all the time like to get us um, like to get our shows to organize like um, like the PR and all of that for releases and like social media and stuff like that and really sort of keep on top of us <laughs> and Afif's so. also your drummer, correct? Uh, no, he's a drummer in a, in a different band. I know that name from somewhere. What what other band? What band is he in? He's in a band called uh, Second Idol. They're like shoegaze, post punk sort of. For sure, I feel, I feel like we might be face with friends or something because I know him from somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are some of your favorite local vocalists right now over there? Local vocalists. Yeah, it's local vocals, not big time bands, but like getting there. Yeah. Um, obviously, my man Will King. I don't know if Winwick is still count as like a local band. They're on the cusp, cusp of big time. Yeah. Um, Rumors. Yeah. Uh, their vocalist, uh, Jackson Bentley, amazing. Um, but I think the. Like the best one fucking blows me away all the time is um Dan Richards from from Alt. Okay. Yeah. ALT. Hey, that dude. Yeah, yeah, ALT. He's ridiculous. He's so good. And even um Julian from Inertia. Sydney. Yeah, I like Inertia too. Yeah, those guys are insane. They're so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh what's what would you say is like your favorite Munchy snack, munchy meal that you just put together. Ooh, um, definitely nachos for Na sure. What do you put I on your nachos? Love, um, I put buckloads of of cheese, um, <laughs> jalapenos. I like this. Um, there's this super cool like um, vegetarian chicken stuff that they have here in like the supermarket in Australia that I just like break apart and chuck all over it. And then like the, um, it's kind of like veggie ground beef. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of cool. And then, yeah, like, uh, 
heaps of salsa as well. Man. Are you a guacamole feel- or sour cream guy or no? Yeah, yeah, guac. Not so much sour cream, but That's definitely cool. guac. Are, are you a vegetarian? You just prefer that on your nachos? Yeah, yeah, I'm vegetarian. How how long ago did you did you uh, quit eating meat? Um, the f- first time it was uh, 2012, but that was for like a year, and then I went when I moved down to Melbourne um, in 2016. It was probably like a couple months before I went. You, you <laughs> cracked. Fully. You cracked on a meal. No, 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 no. Um, that's when. I cracked when the, I went over to the States and I was like, man, they have chicken on waffles here. Like, I have to try that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where'd <laughs> you go? Um, where'd you visit in the States? I went to New York. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You see any but, Broadway um, shows yeah. or anything? I saw some comedy shows. I was like 15. So I, I didn't have a lot of um, free reign. That's still cool that you had to come over here and visit, though. Yeah. Nice. Uh, tell me the story of the drink, Coco Mojo. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so, oh uh, yeah, it would have been 2019. Um, the the rest of my band, not me, <clears throat> uh, Justin, Molly, and Lucas, all went to um, to Bali for a holiday. Um, and Lucas. Have, um bought a drink there's actually some photos i think we're gonna have to post about this because absolutely there, it's an actual drink at this like random bar in in bali and i think justin like yesterday just found like the menu online with coco mojo and it's like the recipe and everything so i think we're gonna have to post about this but um you got you gotta tag yeah. the restaurant too and just tell them like yeah, literally. We got but, fucked um, up on your drink, man. We wrote a song about it. It's kick ass. Check it out. <laughs> Lucas, um, when they got back, Lucas um, and Justin started working on the, the demo um, before me and Molly heard it. And uh, Lucas named the like the, the little demo file Coco Mojo. And um, when, when they showed me, I was like, this is so sick. Like the whole dance pop electro vibe. And I was like, you co- like, this is called Coco Mojo. I'm like, I'm definitely putting that in the lyrics. Like, we have to call this song Coco Mojo. And that was, I love, I love it. stories like that where yeah. it kind of just starts as like a, a funny joke, but then you're like, no, 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 this, is, this yeah. is serious. This is serious here. What What is the, going all the way back to Nocturnals, including the new stuff, what is the hardest song to perform live as a band, I would say? Okay, yeah. Um... I think, yeah, the old, um, the song of our first EP called My Confession. It's just like, it's super fast and the, the riff is like real technical. Um, and, and for me, like, um, at the end I do, I like hold this big freaking high note or whatever. It was always a pain <laughs> to try and do that. And like for Matt as well, like he's, um, his vocals is really like fast paced and the song I am and it was lot it's heaps of fun it was just it was hard to play for sure we don't really play it anymore <laughs> have you ever thought about doing some of the old ones where you got where there's two vocalists doing stuff at at one time but maybe Molly somehow does like a singing part and you do the screaming part or just kind of rearranging it in a way yeah um Molly's um talked about wanting to do some new vocals um do vocals <clears throat> So cool. I think we I think we'd want to try and incorporate that for sure. But we still play uh, some of the old stuff. Like our first uh, shows back, I actually got um, Matt to come up and do his parts for for After All. Hell yeah. Yeah. That was That's, heaps of fun. I bet the fans went crazy for that, seeing him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's all the bad habits of everyone in the band? Oh, God. Um, for me. Me and Justin is probably <laughs> uh, drinking, I'd say, <laughs> especially at shows and stuff. I have that bad habit too. <laughs> yeah, trying to like meet people, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think Molly's is not replying to <laughs> to 
to important shit in the group <laughs> but um and oh, i don't think lucas is just perfect he's just a nice guy <laughs> he does nothing wrong <laughs> angel he's an angel uh yeah. so you guys have dropped three three videos of the there's seven songs correct uh six songs six songs are there plans to do three more videos one more video anything else um we have a plan to do one more video um after <clears throat> the ep gets released but i'm not gonna talk about that <laughs> gotcha it's, it's a lock tight and seal yeah uh how does uh let's see what i wrote down here i get the feeling you guys have more unreleased material because I saw a meme that said unreleased songs and it was like the biggest backpack ever. And I know, oh, yeah. that, I know the EP wasn't out then. So I feel like you got a bunch more stuff that you're just sitting on. Is there plans to once, once EP's out, we're touring, but we're kind of like demoing new stuff at the same time. Yeah, we have, um, we definitely have a few, um, demos <coughs> kicking around that we're going to jump on basically as soon as we finish this EP. Um, release plan comes out at midnight where I am actually. That's What's so tonight? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight's a drinking night. Uh huh. <laughs> Tonight's a drinking night. <laughs> if you could only take one album to an island, any genre, and it's the only album you're allowed to bring, what is it? It cannot be a burnt CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, one album. <laughs> so hard. I know it's hard. Um, let's go with Is This It by the Strokes. Hell yeah. It's kinda cool. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. That, I love that. That album, would you say it like influenced you musically, like personally? Yeah, definitely. It's like the like that whole garage rock. Uh, revival at like the late nineties, early two thousands was like what got me into <clears throat> like music, like punk and all that, and then into metal later on. So, oh yeah, how many how many of these kinds of shirts do you own? The the horizontal stripes. I've got this one, and then I've got <clears throat> another one that it just has like the collar is white and black stripes and the sleeves in the sleeve video. So okay. okay so just two okay i feel like i happen to see you wearing them all the time so they gotta be your faves <laughs> yeah it's comfy it's so comfy that's cool and you said you said lucas molly and justin are all uh currently working so that's why they're unable to attend yes i want to yes. give them a special shout out hello how are you guys wish you could be hello. here <laughs> uh so a bunch of sh i saw one of the shows uh sold out recently maybe from like a week or so ago uh what's what's like a crazy wild fan experience that you had before at a show um so at we were playing in melbourne and um someone came up <clears throat> she had actually sent me a photo of it before and we had um met like a couple times i think but um she got do you do you feel the same tattooed <clears throat> on her leg from like yeah our song off the first ep and it fucking blew my mind it was crazy i was that's, like that's freaking cool. screaming that is really cool so yeah that's, that's a, a cool super place. fan right there yeah yeah for real what's what's like a, a a terrible maybe uh like an example in my old band our our drummer used to have to wear headphones because we had a lot of like hip-hop beats and samples and stuff going on and his headphones would fly off he'd tape them down or it would just short out what's like a really bad live experience where something just completely haywired and melted down there's been so many because <laughs> <laughs> we have we have obviously like the electronic <clears throat> like parts of our songs and we've had moments so lucas used to have to trigger them with like a pad yeah. before we play click <laughs> sorry and um there's been so many times when there's like it was the wrong sample or like 
he's hit it early or late and then we all come in at the wrong time. This is like probably before we even released After All. Like <clears throat> it was, yeah, it was always just a gamble whether or not it was going to work or not. <laughs> so we just winged it, hope for the best. But yeah, I'm glad that we're a lot more organized now. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, all bands have bad experiences. It's just how you bounce back and if you can just laugh it off, you know, and, and keep yeah. rocking. If you just melt yeah, down and run off stage, then that's probably the worst thing that yeah. can happen. <laughs> Do you play any sports besides uh, being a skateboarder? Um, No. I I used to, but I don't really do any sports <clears throat> anymore. I was um, I was watching, so we have this thing called the State of Origin, which is uh, <clears throat> state versus state rugby league. And that was on last night. So I was watching that. It's like a big thing. They do like New South Wales versus Queensland, three matches. Um, New South Wales won, unfortunately. Bummer. Bummer. I mean, the whole thing. Queensland won last night, but New South Wales won the, the competition. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. That's all the questions I've written down, but let's see. Let's see if I can think of a couple more real quick. Uh, who's, who's a feature you've been unable to get on a song with you guys that you have on your list? Hmm. We haven't really talked about features before. <clears throat> I've, I've seen you feature on stuff, but is there a reason that you guys wouldn't have a feature on your stuff or just kind of saving it for another project or like another release? Yeah, I think we want to establish ourselves without having anyone feature. I get that. Maybe until, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Yeah, we've never really thought about it too much. For sure. Time will come. Uh, mm. What would... Uh... What was it like working with Chris of Wind Waker? So good. <laughs> that guy is a wizard. He's just the best. Like, <clears throat> he kind of, like, he'll, he shreds you. Like, you come in with a couple demos or something, and he'll just be like, yeah, these are, these are the reasons why these are bad or aren't as good as they should be. And then he'll come up with, um, <clears throat> ideas that you can work with to I don't know like get the best out of your tracks and like he he's a genius he's actually a genius it's ridiculous hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I've, I've heard some some other projects from him too he, he did what rumors he did a uh -huh. lot of the Wind Waker stuff and it's all it, it's all solid it has like a really good production sound yeah. to it you can hear the difference in, in his recordings versus some other people's recordings so it definitely shows well mary i appreciate you hanging out with me uh my last my last thing i want to ask you to do if that's cool is if you can do an intro for me that i use before yep. all the reviews i'm going to kind of tuck my camera on the screen way down here and then whenever you're ready just go ahead and take it away um an intro what do you mean so just, just be like uh i'm i'm mary from two octavia and you're watching local band smug out but you can throw in other stuff if you wanted to okay hey i'm mary from two octavia you're watching local band smoke out <coughs> cool i'm gonna keep the coughing too because it makes it seem like you just blazed right before you did that <laughs> Dude, you're awesome. I hope you have a fantastic day. I appreciate you yeah. doing this. Tell uh, Justin, Molly, and Lucas I said what's up. And uh, maybe we can get you guys on a stream another one down the road. Uh, I'm excited about the release. Congrats. And uh, I'll look forward to the fourth video. But I know it's secret, but we'll get there. Yeah, for sure. Cheers, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks.